All right, so welcome back. So today we got a few things we're gonna do. We have the pod cluster we're gonna do, and there goes the dogs. The gauge uh, pod cluster we're gonna put in, hopefully. We're gonna get this in the air, cause I wanna get underneath the rear of it. And we're gonna do uh, the upper and lower control arms. We're gonna put in a safety switch in it. And we're gonna do the new nitrous uh, gauge in there as well and get all that stuff done. So, all right, let me get this thing in the air and we'll be on our way. All right guys, so I got <clears throat> the rims and tires off on both sides. I only do one side and record. The other side is gonna be exactly the same. But all I'm gonna do is I'll take my tailpipe off right here, get that out of the way. I don't have that quad shock here anymore, but I have my drag shock right here. So I'll just disconnect it from the bottom, let that hang. Then I'm gonna put a my uh, jack underneath the rear diff. Lower it down, hopefully take the spring out. Then I'll replace the bottom uh, control arm here. Then I'll go ahead and do the top one that's right back there. And then <clears throat> that'll be it. Like I said, I'm not gonna do both sides. I'm only gonna do one, but I'm gonna go ahead and get this done right now. Alright, finally got one side out. Um, you can see the difference between the factory and the new kind here. Also, here's the factory lower, new lower. I didn't record putting the bushings in because all you do is just grease each bush and put it in, put the pin and put the other uh, bushing in and that's it. So I didn't really record it. But everything looks good. I can't wait to get these on and see what it's going to do. You can see just like the thickness of the metal compared to the new one and everything like it's going to be great. I can't wait to see how it is. I got the rest of them done and then everything else is out inside here. So right there is for there, the upper and right down there is for the lower. So that gap right there. So we're going to get all that done and then we'll be good and then we'll get everything back in the way it's supposed to be. Back running and see how the 60 foots do. All 
All right, so we got the one side done. I'm gonna tighten these later. Got this done all up inside. Looks good. Had to do a ratchet strap from here to there to hold this, to move everything, but. All right, passenger side's done. Everything's on there. Everything's tight up there. Got the airbag in. Shocks are good. Same thing for the other side. That's done. That's done there. And that one's done up there. Have the exhaust, the mufflers off. I'm going to start just to see what it sounds like. Kind of curious how it is. So, all right, we did a little one on there. So I finally got the pressure sensor in there, got the bottle open, looks about right at 600 there. You can see it right about 600. And I put, because I wanted to open to this open and put the bottle heater on and not have to worry about opening up the hatch again. So what I did is put another gauge up here and see this one's just right under 600. So now I can see what it is and have the bottle heater warming and have the nitrous warming up without it going into the solenoids because if the solenoids leak and I turn the car on, well, bad things can happen. So now I got the valve. I had this to see before and that glows in the dark. Now that I open this, a little before six, lets you know a little before six, everything's open now and now i can see everything right from inside the car and i just have it running right down through there across and then right in the back you can see it a little bit right there there's it right there in the corner so everything's done with this and now i can close this up if i need to something ever bad happens flip this on to arm it and now i can just purge and there it goes back to zero. And I'm glad that's finally done because now everything's gonna be good.